Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Nyasha Nolazi and welcome to Life with Lozi. Um, that is not our usual intro, but um, welcome, welcome. How the hell are we learning? How are we? How are we? And if you're new on my channel, welcome to the family. Please do join. And it's lovely here. Yeah. Good morning, my name is Nyasha, as I've said, and I'm 23 and a lover of all things money yes you heard it a lover of all things money so i was realized this is actually the third week of mondays we talk about money and i'm excited because now we're getting deep and in into it and i'm excited to go in with all of us and everyone please do share with your mom share with your parents share with your siblings share with everyone you know it's important for us to all have a relationship with money and this week as you can tell from the caption the topic is the reason you don't know where your money is going now don't we all feel i think at some stage we've all felt like someone else has your bank account details surely because things are just not making sense they're not making sense and then you realize at the end of the day that actually, nah, that was me. The other day I decided that ah, I'm going to spoil myself. The other day I decided, oh, this shoe seems affordable. It's on the sale. It used to be 50 pounds. It's 35 now. It's on the sale. Hmm. Some of these reasons are the reasons why we don't know where our money is going. It's because we do not plan for our money. Before we go into money, if it was a situation of you need to get married tomorrow, and you're getting married. No, I'll give you an example before we go into the money. Um, you've set a date for the 26th of December as your wedding day. And at that point, 26th of December, 2023, you're going to get married. I'm going to get married. At that point, I have no boyfriend. I have no funds, but I want to have a white wedding. I want my family to have met this person. And it's August now. And none of that has happened. Is there a chance that this will happen? If I just stay and cross my fingers and be like, the 26th is the is my is my wedding, and you don't do anything about it. Chances are the 26th will come and pass. And maybe you would have gotten a boyfriend, maybe you haven't, or you know, it's leaving a lot of things unplanned. I'm so sorry for the echo. I will try and get a mic soon. I realized because I like the setup here then more than in my room so we might use this room more often so yeah don't worry so with the example I've just given do you think that is going to be possible for that wedding to be the dream that wedding to be amazing if you do not start planning for it so exactly the way we would want to plan for it we need to find the man need to find the money we need to start planning how are we how do we want our things in at the wedding we need to introduce each other to our families let them know these things these are plans and with our money we should do the same we should plan for our money and what is planning that is budgeting because i actually have a definition of what budgeting is it is um the creating a plan to how you spend your money because the money that you get from your pay from whatever whichever ways you get money it's your money you need to plan for it because if you don't plan for it i will emphasize this every single week if i have to if you don't plan for the money we will plan for your money and you'll be shocked every single time you open your account and you find that you have no money and you do not know where it's gone because the rest of us we've got a lot of plans and we will use that money with you not really noticing that oh that's where my money is going so it is important and the answer, one of the reasons you do not know where your money is going is because you are not budgeting for your money. You're not budgeting for that money. So you're just waiting. And it's a situation I've tactfully chosen today. Today is the 20th of August and some people start getting paid now and some during this week. Plan for that. Don't wait for the money to hit the account. Start, sit down plan try to see how do i really use money where does it go and before i'm going to keep this short because i want you to watch this video and put it into use after this video we're taking our pens out we're taking our notebooks out we're typing it out we are creating a plan of course i have a uh, 
an ebook that comes with a free budgeting um, manual, a free budgeting Excel that you can start on, which I will link in, down below. But you can start with something so simple with a pen and paper and just write your expenses, the money you're coming, the, the money coming in and see what's happening. Is 10 minus 8 making 2? Is it minus two? What's happening? You can start simple. You do not, of course, I've simplified the ebook that's available. But even if you can't afford it now or you don't want to start with it, start with just planning your money on a piece of paper. Of course, with the Excel sheet, it would be happy, it would be easier. But start with just, just start, start budgeting the money you have. Now, you will eventually get to a point where you budget for every amount that comes in from whatever funds, whatever you're doing, you need to budget for it because that's just the plan. I feel like sometimes when we say, oh, but budgeting sounds all fancy and dandy, we're creating a plan for our money because we are people who plan for that money. And another thing, when we start planning for that money, I will give you two ways people plan for today and... You can look into it. You can get the book to read it about it. But when you're budgeting and planning, we're not we're not building castles in the air. We're planning for things that we want. We're planning to go on that trip. We're planning to buy that house. Planning to buy whatever it is that we want to buy, or whatever wherever we want to go, or whatever we want to plan for our future or for retirement. But our plans need to be realistic. They need to don't underestimate your expenses and especially most of the people that i know are subscribed or watch we have we've all been in situations where things are inflating and prices are going up i'm not saying overestimate your expenses but don't underestimate it be like oh no today this month i'm not i'm not gonna pay electricity bill this month 20 20 pounds is enough when you actually spend 100 let's be realistic if you spend 100 put 110 aside so that you at least you're not underestimating and you're not putting 200 aside you're putting a certain amount ready so you're gonna put it on your piece of paper or on the excel on the excel you could just put in there's an electricity part the bills track them you need to track all your money track all your expenses where your money is going it will help you because if you're not planning trust me we're going to plan for your money. Me included. I will plan for that money. Because we need to plan. We need to be clever and start planning for our own money. And I remember on our very first one. If you haven't watched the first video. Please do watch. On Mondays we talk about money. I mentioned how you give every dollar a job. Give every pound, rand, whatever you use. What your currency is. Give it a job. So you need to give it a job in how you plan for it. So this coming week. If. 5,000 pounds is going to come into your account. Have you planned for how you use it? Have you planned what you wanted, what you wanted to cover? What you wanted to do in the next couple of months? Or it's a situation your amount is just for now and it might not make months. What are you doing about it? Are you planning ahead? Now, I always like to use something that's relatable and happening right now. And today is the 20th of August and my birthday is literally in a month and a half. And I actually, I could have started planning earlier, but uh, according to my plans, there were other more important stuff I wanted to try and reach before. So now I'm thinking, I need to start thinking now, bear in mind my birthday is in October. I've started planning in the month that is going to come in also this week because I will be paid this week. I'm going to start thinking can I afford to do this? Sometimes I have dreams and I want to go here and there. I want to be flown. Where can I be? Can I do this for my birthday? Can I do this for my birthday? Am I planning accordingly? It's that budgeting. That is the trick in life. To budget and to plan everything. Sometimes it's hard and it's a tedious job when you begin. But eventually you fall in love with the fact that you've planned something and you've set aside something and it's happening. You're finally in it. So do remember to plan give every dollar a job and adjust months change sometimes you have a lot of expenses sometimes you don't sometimes your dreams are to fly to the moon sometimes you don't want to go anyway so you not going anyway might reduce your expenses so in that month you might need to adjust to the fact that you're not doing anything 
budget for your money i cannot emphasize this more importantly this week we are all budgeting for that paycheck we're budgeting for whatever money is going to come in we're going to be the people that know where our money is gone we've worked hard for this money let us budget for it so before i leave i'm going to mention two types of budgeting ways you could budget and it's the 50 30 20 rule and the 70 20 10 rule with the 50 30 20 50 30 20 rule 50 percent of whatever amount your comes in we'll use i'm going to use the example of a salary of your salary 15 percent will go to your needs that is the groceries you have to also when you sit down and you've written down all your expenses for the month. See which ones are need. The things that you can't live without. That's what a need is. With. Something you can't live without. Maybe you can live without a brand new shoe. Maybe you can't because that's the only shoe. Your shoe that you always wear is torn. You need to write down all your needs. Electricity bill. Rent. That is 50%. And 30% for your ones. Oh, I would love... Honestly, I I would say my want for this coming month, I would love to take myself somewhere and just rest. So I need to start thinking, where am I going with my 30%? Those are ones I would love a, a brand new outfit for my birthday. Those are ones because I want to start planning for it now. And 20% on savings. Savings will always be there. Now, it depends. Some people end up splitting the 20% to 10% savings and 10% investments. You can start doing that, but we haven't gotten there. Let's just start with the easy. 50% your needs, 30% your wants, 20% your savings. Sometimes it's not possible. It might not be possible for you to do it in that manner, which we'll talk about after I talk about the second way. You can use the 70 20 10. Now the 70 20 10 is your monthly expenses and all your I would say it's still the needs and everything else that comes. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm looking at the make it happen book. So the 70 20 10 70 percent is the monthly expenses and all the things that you need to take care of this month your water bill, your rent. That's 70 percent, and then 20 percent is your savings, and 10 is for giving, which is really important you need to give as much as we spend and we receive so in this manner i know sometimes it's not as easy to say 50 percent is for your expenses sometimes our expenses are more than 50 percent sometimes we might need to use a 70 percent way 70 percent of my income i have to pay rent i have to pay bills i have to send money home or i have to help with the family that's your 70 percent 20 percent of the savings i would even go in further and try to reduce it not reduce it but split it in a situation if give yourself even one percent or two percent something to spoil yourself we can't plan all this money and not spoil ourselves i'm heavy on the spoiling yourself i'm very heavy on it we're not going to act like we don't deserve it we deserve it we deserve it so make sure you also have that amount and 10 percent is for giving do give so with the things I've already mentioned, you can then go in and eventually you can start with this this month. Eventually you can decide that no, this rule might not be perfect or adjustable, might not be the best for me. Um, then you can start adjusting from it, which even I started on, a, I think I started on a 50, 30, 20 years ago without even noticing and mine has eventually changed and it's a situation where it's two percent this one percent this 1.5 because i've really spent time to plan and understand how my patterns are and my patterns are fairly the same unless there's a change in something and i have to sit down again and re-strategize so this month happy payday happy pay week happy pay everyone getting money happy happy but remember, you got to plan for that money. I'll plan for your money for you. So happy, happy Monday. And I'm glad and I'm grateful that you are all here. And please do come on the next one. And if anyone has any questions or anything else you want to comment on, the things you're enjoying so far, please do comment. And please don't forget to subscribe. And we drop at least twice a week. 
one is the mondays with money and the second one is a weekly vlog spend the day because holistically we're gonna go into life growth and everything in between goodbye